What's going on, guys? It's SPT Killerwood coming back at you again uh, with another monthly haul. Uh, we are at the end of Ju uh, July. Today's the 30th. Um, got a few little things for you. It's definitely not going to be as much as it was uh, last month. So if you actually did stick around for that video to the through the uh, the duration of the video, I, I appreciate it. Um, didn't really get very many views on it. So, you know, I don't know what's going on with it. I don't know if the algorithm or people just who are sub to me just don't care or just not watching. I don't know. Um, it is what it is. But, um, yeah, you know, so I picked up some tiles. I got some eBay stuff. I got a couple or a Facebook item, a couple of Facebook items, um, Grindhouse, uh, Diabolic, you know, Amazon, uh, Vinegar Syndrome package. Uh, so, yeah, so let's just get started. We'll do, I guess we'll do the uh, the Vinegar uh, package first since, you know, I'm pretty sure everybody's either got these or done seen these. So, you know, whichever. Uh, I won't go into too much detail on them, but, you know, I'll just show them really quick. Uh, but we have Delirium. I'm not going to show the back because it's kind of, you know, got some stuff on there. But, yeah, I'm, I'm assuming, I, I'm guessing maybe this might be the one that Code Red put out a while back. I'm not really sure. Uh, I know it's not the one that Severn put out, so I'm guessing maybe it's the Code Red one, I think, or Scorpion or whoever. I don't know. It might not even be that one. It could be a whole completely another movie. I don't know, but uh, we have Delirium. <clears throat> uh, then we have the uh, Psycho Girls. You know, I don't know nothing about this stuff. Um, I've heard, I heard it wasn't really too great. Uh, almost kind of looks like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre there, but you know, if you kind of turn it that way, it almost kind of looks like a a saw blade, sort of, maybe not, but. <clears throat> But that was the uh, Psycho Girls. Uh, then we have the uh, Terra at 10 Killer. Um, I heard this one was pretty boring. So I don't even know if I even watch these, to be honest. I might just leave them sealed, put them on the shelf, and maybe sell them. I don't know. Uh, then last up, we have Gorgo on 4K. I don't know anything about Gorgo. Like I said, there was nothing in this monthly package that I knew anything about. So, um, I, yeah, I don't have but a few more months left to go out of the subscription, and I don't even know if I'll even renew it. Uh, as far as like Amazon packages go, I only got two. Um, but we have the uh, Night of the Living Dead on 4K. Uh, I recently had this, and I wound up selling it. Um, but my copy, for, for whatever reason, when I bought this brand new on my other copy, it had a little small scratch on it, and it would freeze at a certain part of the movie. But if you just kind of, you know, fast forwarded like 10 seconds, then it, it, it was fine. But um, I wound up selling it, maybe just hoping that it wouldn't, you know, affect somebody who bought it. You know, I let them know. Don't think that I didn't. But um, so I just... You know, it was the Criterion sales going on. So I was like, you know what? I'll just get another copy and try my luck again. So I got it again. And uh, I haven't watched it yet to see if uh, if it still stops at the same spot or, or what. But uh, Night of the Living Dead 4K. And then I finally picked up the uh, Dawn of the Dead 4K uh, from Second Sight. You know, I know it's not the big Mac Daddy edition. And then that's fine. You know, I don't need all that. I mean, I would love to have it. Um, you know, I waited around for a while to see if they were actually going to announce like a, you know, an American release of this. And, you know, so far nothing. I'm sure it's still going to come at some point. But I got this for like 40 bucks. You know, it's got all the cuts on it. Um, you know, it's like three UHD disc. And then the fourth is the Blu-ray, which is region B, but... You know, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, you get the Argento cut, you get the extended cut, plus the uh, the theatrical cut, all on 4K. So I'll be happy with this. Even, I guess, if another one does come, I'll be fine with it. Um, uh, let's see. Next up, we have, I guess, uh, my Diabolic order. Um, I've seen this on Diabolic's website when, I, when, I, when, it, when it came out. Uh, Hellgate. Uh, I know this was recently released on uh, on Arrow, but it was a Region B. 
So I was kind of glad to see this because I don't really mess with Region B stuff no more. So I'm thinking about getting back in it, guys. I was looking to see about maybe some of the uh, the Region B players. Um, I might give it another try because I don't really think my bad take on it was anything to do with the the player itself. I think it was because of the fact that I fell asleep and then. It, yeah, the the menu created lines in my TV, which kind of got me mad. So I just, I don't really think it was necessarily the player, but more user error. Uh, next up, we have Magic Cop from 88 Films. Um, still sealed. Um, there's another one coming out too called Taxi Hunter that I'm waiting on, but they kind of pushed it because they were supposed to both, they were supposed to both be released around the same time. Um, but this is the 88 Films US line. It still is region A and B, but it's more directed for the U.S. But that is the uh, Magic Cop. Never seen it. Don't know anything about it. But uh, went ahead and picked it up. And then next up we have The Burning on 4K. Uh, of course, you know, they don't change the cover art for the inside. It's exactly the same as the as the slip cover. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I can't wait to watch this again. Uh, I've only seen it once, you know, back when I bought it for... Scream Factory a long, long time ago. Um, you know, some people kind of think that you can, like, watch this as your Friday the 13th Part 1 and then just start watching, you know, Friday the 13th Part 2. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I know it's not the same person, obviously. But, you know, they were just kind of saying it's so similar to Friday the 13th that you could just watch that one to be like the first one. Um, let's see. All right, so next up was the uh, my Grand House Order. And I'm going to go with some more 88 films here. Uh, some movies that I did have. Uh, the next three I did have. And I wound up selling and I missed them. So I wound up going back and rebuying them. I got to stop doing that shit. But uh, first up we have the uh, Disciples of Shaolin. Um, from Shaw Brothers. I'm trying to. I'm on this huge Shaw Brothers kick. So I, you know, I've been getting the Arrow box sets. Uh, I've got the Shout Factory, uh, you know, set they just released, Volume 1. Uh, volume 2 is coming out. And apparently it seems as of, what was it, yesterday? I guess depending on when you watch this or whatever. But um, I think Saturday they just basically leaked the Volume 3 that's coming out in October. So they're putting them out, like, really fast. Uh, but, yeah, this is uh, Disciples of Shaolin. <clears throat> Uh, next up, we have Marshall Club. I love these. I love these slips. They're just colorful and got a lot of stuff going on. And um, I haven't seen this one. There's a, there's only there's a there's a few of them that I haven't seen uh, when I had them all because the Shaw Brothers. There was ten of them that '88 put out uh, for the U.S. and I had all ten of them. Like I said, I wound up selling them. Like an idiot. So now I'm just having to buy them back. So uh, there was these three right here. But um, we have the Flying Guillotine Part 2. Uh, the second volume of the Shaw set from Shout Factory is going to have the first one of this. Like just the first part in that set. So I'm going to wait until that set comes and watch that. Then watch the second one. Um, but yeah, I got these three. Um, and they're, you know, they're all, they're still the, uh, I guess you would say limited edition. They got the, uh, you know, the poster and if you can kind of see all that stuff down inside there, it's got the poster, I believe the book, maybe some art cards or something. Um, let's see. Yeah. The booklet poster. Yeah. Maybe it's just booklet and poster, but anyway, so that was flying guillotine too. Uh, then another thing I was, you know, excited to finally get, um, was, uh, Swamp Thing on 4K. Um, you know, I've been wanting to get this, you know, especially with the, uh, you know, I guess what the director's cut or unrated cut or whatever you want to call it. Um, but you know, when, before all these got released, you know, Scream Factory's copy was going for like 50 plus and I didn't really feel like paying that much. Um, so I was like, you know, I'm just going to wait until, uh, well, I thought something was right there, but that's just the way the slipcover is. It's not actually 
creased or nothing. Um, you know, I was going to wait, so I finally just waited, and my patience paid off, and they finally announced, you know, the 4K of this one, so uh, this is from MBD, uh, their Laser Vision Collection, which, I think, number one, I don't get into all the damn numbers, so, I mean, I know some of you pe people out there probably do, I could care less about the uh, <laughs> sequential numbering or whatever, um, you know, but yeah, we got Swamp Thing. And then I also picked up the uh, the Return of Swamp Thing. You know, this one came out, you know, months, a few months back. It's probably maybe more than a few, but, um, you know, I just didn't want to buy this one until I knew that they were going to put part one on 4K. So I uh, got both of these, you know, like I said, from Grindhouse. Um, yeah, I know. I don't know why. You know, I don't know why they would have uh, put the second one out technically first. Um, anyway, so that's that. Uh, let me grab some more stuff here, guys. Slide some stuff over. Um, without knocking anything over. We'll do a we'll do a Facebook pickup here. Sorry for the moving camera. I'm just kind of like looking backwards, trying to pick this stuff up. Um, not trying to have you see what I've got here. So anyway, so uh, I seen this guy on Facebook had some stuff from Severn uh, that I needed. Um, you know, I reached out to him and asked him how much you know he'd uh, you know give me a deal for all of it. So got a pretty good decent deal. Um, but yeah, it was just titles that I was missing, uh, a box set that I was missing, which you know it is what it is. So um, but anyway, we got a uh, family portraits. A trilogy of America. Um, and yeah, see, it's got that. I'm not really happy about that. Um, I'll explain here in a second when I show the rest of them. Uh, but yeah, got family portrait. Uh, the main, another one of the main ones that I really was needing off that was this. Uh, the, was this the uh, Baya, Baya Blanca, uh, Jess Franco. Um, if you ever try to go buy this one, I mean, this one's going to cost you some good little bit of money, you know, at least, at least 50, uh, on eBay. Um, you know, it's just, uh, what year was it? 84. It's an out of print, you know, Franco film from Severn. I don't know anything about it. I haven't watched it, but I just know that I needed it to complete, you know, to go along with completing my Severn run. So, uh, yeah, I got that. Uh, I got the uh, Devil Hunter and Cannibal Terror double pack. I've seen uh, Devil Hunter. I can't remember if I've seen Cannibal Terror, but Devil Hunter wasn't too bad. Um, I mean, is it, you know, uh, you know, it's kind of like a cannibal movie, both of them, basically, you know. But it's it's okay. It's not the greatest, but, um, yeah. So, like, that dude right there, it's just... That's kind of crazy looking <laughs> when you see that dude coming out. But um, if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, next up, we have Deep Blood, which is probably one of the worst shark movies ever. Um, I think a lot of I think a lot of the footage is like actual just stock footage of like sharks swimming around, and then it has like little small <laughs> movie inserts added in with it or something. Um, but, you know, I mean, this is cheap, you know. If you're ever going to buy this, just wait till like, Severn, you know, does her sale, and you can get it for, uh, I don't know, it's like, like $15 or some shit. Um, uh, next up, we have Doggera. I guess this is, like, a documentary or something. I don't know what this is. He just had it, and I, he, you know, it was a Severn title that I did not have, so... I mean, it almost even kind of looks bootleg with the uh, the way that thing right there is kind of rode out. Unless maybe, unless maybe at some point he changed the case or something of it. I don't know. But that don't even look like <laughs> that's a legit, you know, I don't know. Maybe he changed the case. I, I don't discredit him too much, I guess. But I don't know anything about that. It was really cheap. It was like $3 or something. Uh, next up, we got the, uh, the Hemisphere of Horrors uh, box set. And you get the Curse of the Vampires, uh, the Blood Drinkers, the Black Cat, uh, with that the Torture Chamber of Doctor Sadism, and Brain of Blood. So you get four movies. Um, you know each individual cases. 
This is where it kind of kind of got me irritated because you can't really see this, but maybe if I just do this, you can if it'll focus. See that? There is tape up there. It's almost as if like maybe the box might have been kind of coming apart or something. And he put tape on it. Or somebody put tape on it. I've even tried to like get it off and it's it's pretty stuck. Um the bottom I mean, the box is already supposed to kind of have that kind of, like, not like an off-white look to it. So, you know, it's not like it's dirty, but that's kind of the color that it's supposed to be. But you can see there, I'm just not really happy with it. Um, I like my stuff in really nice condition. And, like, the if I can, you know, as you can see, look, look, I can, like, take my finger and kind of pull that out. Um, this is limited. You know, they were they were actually numbered. Um, as you can see, you know, this one is three thousand one hundred eleven out of thirty five hundred. Uh, you, you know, you can see some of the stuff here off of it, off the back. But you know, he failed to tell me all. Yeah, you know, so you can see how all that is right here. You know, he didn't bother telling me this. You know, he, I mean, I, of course, you know, I guess maybe it was my fault for not asking, but. The way the pictures looked in on, on Facebook, it looked like it was everything was really nice, but he didn't bother mentioning that you know the condition of the box or the condition that uh, that family portraits having a uh, hole punch in the back, the UPC punches from damn review copies. I don't ever buy those. If I see them on eBay or anywhere like that, I skip on them. I don't want that shit on my on mine. You know, I don't want to sit and give somebody money for something they got for free. You know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. So I was, I you know, I told him before, you know, when he sent it out, I was like, hey, you know, I'll hit you up and let you know when I get it. And then when I get it and I open a box and I'm seeing this and I'm like, I, I don't even want to talk to this dude now because if I do, I'm going to damn rip him a new asshole and be like, you know, be an ass about it. So I was like, you know what? Me being me, I just won't say anything because otherwise if I do comment, I'm going to put him on blast and, you know, I'm not trying to do that. So... I just didn't even bother letting him know that I that I got it. So anybody else that I buy from, that's always really nice stuff. I always, you know, tell them thank you, appreciate it. You know, I tell them, you know, nice packaging or whatever, whatever, whatever. But this this smuck, you know what I'm saying, he didn't tell me anything about any of this. So, uh, you know, fuck him. Uh, but anyway, let's move on here. Uh... One more title I got from him was the uh, Santa Sangre uh, 4K. Uh, it's kind of got like a little, little, you know, a little corner ding there, I guess you'd call it. Uh, this movie's kind of weird. <laughs> I watched it and it's pretty, it's pretty out there. So if you've seen this, um, you know kind of just how crazy it is. Uh, it was pretty good though. I mean, I enjoyed it for what it was. I, you know, I haven't never seen it, and then I watched it, and I was like, oh, okay, that was definitely, you know, definitely interesting. Um, yeah. So we'll go to the eBay stuff now. Uh, the, these these next two that I show you, I got together, um, bought just yeah, you know, bought both of them from the same seller. Um, but we got uh, the Blind Woman's Curse uh, from Arrow. I flipped the uh, cover art on it. Um, this is um, Tiro Ishi. -ish so that's another one of the ones, uh, you know, another movie by him that I've had. I've got, I've got a few copies of other stuff from. Uh, I believe this might have been her first. Was it uh, Miko? Whatever her name is. Yeah, Miko Kaji. It's like her first solo title or something i don't know either way uh blind woman's curse <clears throat> and then i finally was able to get a copy of the woman uh, i've been trying to get this copy for a long time with the slip you know because i love my arrow titles with slips um you know i just did not want to pay like what some of these sellers were trying to charge for it so i think i wound up getting this one for like ten dollars uh it was in an auction and if I'm not mistaken, I don't think really nobody else bid. Maybe one other person bid on it. But, um, but yeah, so I got really lucky with this because normally this goes for, you know, like 30 or so. So I just kind of held out. And uh, 
just kind of held out on it and waited and it finally got you know it finally paid off uh sometimes my patience uh wears really thin and i don't want to wait but you know um same with this movie right here that i'm about to show you i got it really cheap too i think it was like 14 bucks or something 15 dollars and typically it goes for like 35 um so but that is a uh, vigilante or, Vig or vigilante on 4k from blue underground with the uh lenticular slip nice copy um, I've never seen this movie, but it definitely looks like a ton of fun. Um, it's even got Joe Spinell in it. Um, yeah. So I'm glad to finally get, you know, this one. I've been trying to get this one. I've been trying to get most of the uh, Blue Underground titles. Uh, I'm still missing... Uh, what was it? Final Countdown or whatever it's called. I'm just not going to pay like 50 bucks that people are trying to ask for that. Um, so the next title that I picked up off Facebook, um, was supposed to be something else, but what I got was this, uh, the Cemetery of Terror. <laughs> I opened up the package and this is what was inside. And I, and I, you know, I knew who the seller was cause I looked on the label and I was like, okay, I know who this come from. And that was all messed up. Some of the cases broke. Um, So this is what I got. I got two packages that day, and I didn't bother to look at the other label. I just happened to, you know, open this one up, seeing that it was the wrong wrong movie. So I get, I jump on eBay, didn't even open the other package. I jump on eBay, send the seller a message, say, hey, you know, I didn't get the movie that you sent me. Uh, this is what I got. <laughs> he responded back saying, oh, my apologies. Um, you know, I'll, I'll give you a refund. So he sends a refund. Well, you know, a little bit later, I wound up getting to the next package and I noticed that it had the same seller's label on it. And I was like, oh, hell. So the movie that I actually ordered that I was supposed to get was in the other package. So I guess he must have just mislabeled the other that one with somebody, you know, with my information instead of whoever bought it. But the, the movie I was supposed to buy or supposed to get was this uh, Threads from Severn with the uh, slipcover on it. Um, I got it for like 20. This was actually like a stock photo and didn't say anything about having the slipcover. So I, I sent a message originally and was like, hey, you know, do you have the slipcover with it? And he's like, yeah, it comes with it. So I was like, all right, well, cool. I'll go ahead and take it because it's got a little ding there. But I mean, sometimes you're not gonna get these 100% perfect. Um, but uh, anyway, so, you know, by this time, I go back and I look on eBay and I noticed that he had done gave me the refund. And I was like, okay, so now what do I do? I mean, I got my money back, so I got it for free. I got another free movie. You know, do I go back and tell him? Uh, I just, you know, I was like, you know what? I ain't even worried about it because I've been, you know, I've been gotten several times when I used to sell on eBay. And I didn't, it wasn't like I was intentionally trying to get him. Don't, you know, don't, don't, don't think that. But I've been gotten so many times from ebay and i and i could tell i could talk to you till i'm blue in the face about stories of how bad i got ripped off or whatever so i was like you know what i ain't gonna say anything because i've had it happen to me and now you know what i'm saying i'll be the one to to reap the reward from it so anyway but you know anyway uh but next up from ebay uh we have uh the flag of iron uh from 88 films um, this is another one of the ones that I still needed for the 10 Shaw brothers. So this one's not too bad. They have a lot of pole fighting in this one, a lot of flags, um, you know, two different, two different teams basically, or clans, shouldn't say teams, but clans fighting against each other. And they're using a lot of, you know, all same colors and, you know, stuff like that. But, uh, it's not too bad. Um, could be a lot better, but it wasn't terrible. Um, and then another one that I got was the uh, the Human Lanterns um, from 88 Films, you know, Shaw Brothers. So out of the 10, I rebought five of them back. I've got still four of them sitting in my cart right now on eBay. And then there's one more 
that I was looking, you know, looking at somewhere on another site for a little bit cheaper, um, would, that would make 10 to get all 10 of them back. I just haven't pulled the trigger on it yet. So at some point here in the next probably week or so, I'll go ahead and get those. And then I'll have all 10 of them back and you'll probably see those by the end of, uh, August's pickups. But another title that I've been trying, trying, trying so hard to get, um, whether it be Facebook, eBay, like I searched for it like literally every single day. I finally seen it come up on eBay a couple weeks ago. And when I seen it, I didn't hesitate. I knew I could probably get it for about $10 cheaper, but I didn't care. I just wanted it and to be done with it and add it to my collection. But that is the, uh, the very hard to find all the colors of the dark box set from Severn. And you get all the colors of the Giallo and all the colors of the dark together. Now you can buy these movies individually for like, you know, 12 or so, 14, 15 dollars each. But if you'd have got this when it first came out, it would have had this little little slip case that came with it. Well, you know, this stuff's all out of print, so and not to mention that it's brand new sealed. So I jumped on it. I paid 60 for it. Now I have seen it go for like 50. But like I said, I, I didn't want to wait. I didn't want to sit here and try to send the seller messages saying, hey, you know, would you go lower on it? Because I know how rare this is. And I know that every time one popped up on eBay, it was only there for a matter of maybe not even a day or so. And it was gone. And I just didn't want, I didn't want to take the chance on missing it. So I said to hell with it. And I paid it $60 to have it. So that's that. And the last, I, the last item I have for y'all um it's a big one guys um it's seven title a box set that i have been waiting to get uh you know it's very expensive very very expensive so as all you know all this stuff that you see out here this is one reason why i didn't buy more stuff because what i'm about to show you cost me 300 dollars by itself um you know I, I had a guy on facebook hit me up said hey man i got that set you're looking for basically it's brand new all I did was open it. I haven't watched any of the movies. Um, you know, I bought it. I got it from Seven when it came out. And I've had it sitting on my shelf. I have not done anything else with it. He said, I'm going on vacation. And I've seen that you were, you know, because I made a post looking for stuff on Severn on Facebook. So he hit me up. But he said, hey, I know you've been looking for it. I got you. You know, could you do like 300? He said, you know, could you do 300? And I was like, sure enough, I'll do it. But that is the uh, the Al Adamson Masterpiece Collection. Just beautiful. I mean, the box is in, is in pristine, absolute beautiful condition. No, no creases, no corner bumps, no nothing. I mean, it looks absolutely phenomenal. And then you can see here, this is all the movies that you get with it. It should be, I think, 32, um, 32 titles. Now, a couple of these they've released on standalone disc, but I wanted this. I didn't want to buy the one standalone. You know, I wanted the whole full, full thing here. But you got all your movies in here, and it's got a big book that it comes with it. With it, I ain't gonna take all this stuff out because I mean, this thing is heavy. You know, if you've got this set, you know how heavy this box is. But, um, but yeah, this is this is one of the main ones that I was trying to get, and. I was so happy to get it. He packed this thing with like, I mean, that thing probably could have survived a hurricane as good as this thing was packed. I gave him all the credit in the world for it because he knew how much this was worth. He didn't even want to sell it, but he just said he needed the funds to go on vacation. He said he'll probably wind up buying another copy of it somewhere down the road. But, um, but yeah, guys, for $300, this had to come home with me. And it's in a good spot now. You know, my Severn collection don't go nowhere. So... But this is all I have, guys. Um, I do have something else from Severn coming. You know, I've got my halfway to Black Friday order. Uh, I've got my Black Emanuel box set. Um, it's actually in the mail now. So it's just a little early early special for you on that. Um, and then I, I figure at some point in August, I'll get my halfway to Black Friday sale. I'll probably do a separate video for that because it's going to be a ton of titles. Um, so I don't want to mix it in with what I already get for August because that'll just be way too much. But uh, but yeah, guys, it's the end of my video. This is all I have. 
You know, I hope y'all have gotten everything that you've wanted. You know, please, you know, like the, you know, like the video, comment, subscribe. You know, let's try to get my views up, guys, because, you know, seeing my last video only got me 20-something views. That's kind of depressing. Um, I mean, I know, like I said, you know, I mean, you know, I try, guys. I try. But, nonetheless, I hope y'all enjoy your weekend. And I am SBT Killerwood, and I'll see you at the next one. Peace.